Stella Exlemcorn, I have some news from the CEO and executive director and she speaks about the progress and all of the achievements that Stella has made in the past year within their policy team. I also have some more news for you about MoneyGram and we do know that Stella has an investment in them and I am going to be giving you some statistics on the Stella network and of course we will be looking at the price action towards the end of the video. All I ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. So the first bit of news that we have is coming from Danelle Dixon and this is the wrap-up tweet that we have for 20 2023 as you know we are closing out now so let's take a look at some reflections that she has said in this tweet so she says that as we wrap up 2023 i want to reflect on the year our policy team has had at stella one of our top priorities this year was stable coin legislation where our advocacy focused on ensuring consumer protection advancing u.s interests globally emphasizing interoperability and maximizing consumer choice if you don't already know i believe that french hill in congress is trying to get a stable coin bill passed and that is something that they're currently working on. Throughout the year, regulatory clarity has been our guiding star. SDF has advocated for bipartisan stablecoin legislations in the US, vital for fostering innovation while safeguarding consumer interests. Open networks and decentralization were key themes, showcasing the advantages of public blockchain infrastructure. Transparency and resiliency are the core of our message. SDF has worked to educate policymakers and the public about the transformative potential of open decentralized blockchain networks. So we're just getting a lot of words here nothing with xlm so far notably we've engaged with policy makers globally to highlight blockchain applications in humanitarian aid disaster assistance and government payments so that is when they have made their donations to ukraine looking ahead to 2024 we prioritize advocating for sound solutions for confidential payments and supporting the development of regulatory frameworks for DeFi. dobo coins will continue to be a focus area as we support legislation that ensures consumer protection promotes interoperability and maximizes choice as we look forward i'd like to share a conversation on our building assets that solve real world problems the journey continues sdf is poised to shape the future of blockchain technology and decentralized finance here's to a year of progress innovation and positive impact now i'm not quite sure about you but how i feel about this tweet is it is a little bit disappointing i haven't really seen anything about xlm but not even that i was also expecting some sort of statistics or metrics that we've possibly achieved this year for seller xlm and i couldn't really see that but i thought that we would have some sort of report like how you see with ripple xrp and what they have currently achieved like with their partnerships and things like that i've not been able to see it so if we have a look at the comment below and i think that this is exactly what i agree upon nick lettery actually replied saying congratulations on all that work i truly think it's amazing what you are doing with moving aid payments faster and cheaper and the other partnerships you've built this year yet it's done nothing for your own cryptocurrency and this is a concern right because a lot of people that are invested in xlm coin obviously are invested because they want to see the benefits from xlm so the question remains the elephant in the room where does the adoption the use and evaluation of xlm come on the list of things to do i think all the buyers will love to know including me and that's going forward for 2024 as well we want to know where adoption is going to come into it because when it comes to the price action of coins and with xlm coin the more adoption that we see the more use cases that we have that is what is going to increase the price of a coin we are going to see more demand for it and it's basically the utility right if the coin is not doing anything it has no back into it there's no fundamentals there's no use and it's kind of like what's the point and i think that this is a question that still remains on the minds of xlm holders i mean do let me know down in the comments below what you think about this tweet and if you believe it addressed any of your concerns and what's happening in 2024 but i personally didn't see anything that was laid out going on for 2024 now we have some news here about stellar lumens and algorand is way bigger than we might think so we have two real world applications using the rails of usdc on xlm and algo is enormous moves and we have over here that he pay offers money grant remittance services in all 34 provinces saving you the hassle of traveling between provinces to collect your money so this is moneygram the money transfer company and they've essentially made it easier to collect the money and we know that stella has already invested in moneygram in a bid to be a digital forward fintech leader now we're not quite sure how much the investment stella actually put into moneygram but what we do know is that stella and moneygram have been working together for years and so they already have established that partnership and a good connection they seem to be on board and we know that stella is 
aiming to make cross-border payments faster and cheaper using blockchain technology and so MoneyGram will be able to benefit from that going forward. Before we have a look at the price action today for XLM coin I just want to share with you some stats that we have for yesterday and on the Stellar network we currently have 2.3 million transactions operations were at 7.4 million and the average transaction cost was 0.00618 XLM which translates into 0. quadruple double seven that we have. Now XLM coin we are currently trading at 13 cents to be precise we are at 0.1314 and we are up by 3.61% on the one day chart look at that nice upward momentum for the volume we are up by 17.59% and we are trading at 112.5 million dollars on the seven day chart we are up by 7.22% and look at XLM go now in my previous video I did say that we could potentially be mirroring what happened on the 26th and also on the 25th when we hit these price points and it seems like as if XLM was able to gain that momentum and go towards this now could xlm coin potentially come back to that mid-range of the 12 cents i think so we need to see some sort of support for that 13 cents as of now we have basically been able to surpass that level but we need the support area price action for xlm are you disappointed are you not well in the one month chart we are up by 13.39 percent granted we haven't reached 16 cents we have gone from the mid-range of the 11 cents to 13 cents and so it's just an under two cent move it's definitely not an extremely great performance however at least we are up and above that 10 cent level on the one year chart we are up by 76.24 percent so don't forget where we once were we were trading at 0.07632 just in june and so we nearly are doubling our amount here especially if we are able to get to the 14 cent level and i would like xlm coin to reach 15 cents very soon guys if you want daily stellar xlm coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well